Hello, everybody. I've got an update for you. So you may have heard, you may not have heard. I'm not sure, but there's some news. Brandon Turner is going to be leaving the Bigger Pockets podcast. Now, I know this may come as a shock to many of you. It sure came as a shock to me. Brandon is so synonymous with Bigger Pockets that many people actually think it's Brandon Pockets, but it's not. It's Bigger Pockets. Now, let's talk about why that's happening and what you can expect from here. So, if will we never hear from Brandon again? I don't think that's very likely. First off, I'm his best friend. He's not going too far away because he'd miss me way too much. Second off, like I said, Brandon has been such a part of BP culture that he is interwoven into the fabric of that company. And I don't think that he's going to be gone forever. I just don't think that that's very likely to happen. Third, Brandon has told me I'm not going to be gone forever. I just need some time away. So don't worry. It's not like we're never going to hear from Brandon again. Let's talk about why Brandon's actually leaving. Well, what he's told me and what I really believe to be true is that Odor Capital is doing so stinking well that he needs to be spending more time focusing on growing that company and leading the people that are in it than just hosting the podcast that he's done for about nine years so far. Now, what does this mean? Well, first off, if you want to invest your money, Open Door Capital is a great place to put it because that company has been crushing it. Second off, if you heard me talk after Brandon's keynote speech at the Bigger Pockets Conference, BPCon 2021, you heard me mentioning how this guy is hitting the next level of success. He's like a Pokemon that has evolved into a super Pokemon. Not only is his beard getting longer, but his brain is getting bigger and he's getting a lot better at the stuff that he does. So it shouldn't come as a huge surprise. It didn't come as a surprise to me with how well he's doing that he might be moving on to do some other stuff. Third, Brandon at heart is a family man. I've seen this guy. He is literally the best husband I have ever seen. It blows me away how devoted and committed he is to his family's happiness and well-being. And he just wants to spend more time with his family while his kids are super young. Rosie's still a toddler. Wilder's maybe two years old. He moved to Hawaii to have more time to spend with his family. And so that's what he's going to go do. And then lastly, Brandon speaks through me. He's going to be in my ear telling me what he thinks I should do, what he thinks we should say, and how we can make things better. So his spirit will live on forever. So I hope you guys understand that there's no beef between me and Brandon. There was no issues that we had where it was only big enough for the two of us. And I finally beat him in jujitsu. And so now he's gone. It's nothing like that. I would actually expect Brandon to be making quite a few appearances. And when I'm in Hawaii, I wouldn't be surprised if we do more shows together for the podcast. Now, another thing that I would highly encourage everyone listening to this to think about is not just to think about the what, what am I gonna go do, but the why, why am I doing this? The vast majority of people that are listening to this video that are in the same world that I am are looking for their time back as well as freedom, freedom to do the type of work they want. I don't think a lot of people on Bigger Pockets hate work. I think they hate doing work that they don't enjoy. I don't think that they hate business. I think that they don't like the role that they're currently playing in somebody else's business and they would like to have their own thing which is what real estate investing does. Now, Brandon Turner might be the best example of exactly what it should look like when you get there. Brandon has got his time back. That was the goal. That's why he committed himself to real estate investing for so long. Brandon has got his freedom back. He can now do the type of work that he wants to do that he feels makes the biggest impact on the world. Brandon Turner was able to move to Hawaii. He went from overcast, rainy, depressing Grays Harbor, Washington into Maui, one of the most beautiful islands on the entire world. And he took his whole family there. Okay, he's the best example of what this can look like if you stay committed to the course. And that's another example I wanna bring up is we shouldn't just be crying that we lost Brandon. We should be celebrating that Brandon reached the pinnacle that we're all trying to get to. And he's really the front runner that shows us what it can look like. Go give Brandon a shout out, celebrate what he's done, share his story with other people when they question why you're committed to this. And remember, if you stay on this road, you'll end up the same place that Brandon did too. Now, here's what you can expect moving forward. First off, when I heard the news that Brandon was going to be stepping away, I realized rather than just bringing in a new voice and something that you're not comfortable with or you're not familiar with, who then has to try to figure out how to interview guests, we need to take the offensive. We need to actually put out more content, different content and better content. So while we're not gonna be stopping the tried and true familiar formula of bringing in investors, letting them tell their story and learning from what they did, we're gonna take that, we're gonna add to it. 
Many of you may have recognized that we added the mindset episode that started coming out on Sundays where we interview just successful people and find out what did you do and how do you think to become so successful so that the rest of us can sort of rip off and duplicate that behavior. Well, we also started the Seeing Green episodes. That's where we take questions from you. You can send those into biggerpockets.com slash David and just tell me, here's a question I have. Here's an area that I'm struggling. David, I've always noticed you do this. How do you do that? Whatever it is you want, you can ask those questions and then I will answer them for everybody to hear. Now, what I'm hoping that develops into is a Dave Ramsey style show. I have seen a lot of people do a lot of stupid stuff with real estate where we have live callers that call us and say, I don't know what to do. I've got these options or I've got these problems or I don't understand this part. And we can answer those questions for everybody to hear. I think those are fun. I think those are educational. I think they're valuable. I'd love to be able to get an infrastructure built up to where we could bring that to you. Another thing that I wanted to do was start a state of the market podcast where we go over relevant articles that describe what's happening in the world of real estate. So those of us that are like me, that are just immersed in this world, I sell real estate, I do loans for this real estate, I buy real estate, I manage teams, I host the podcast. My whole life is real estate. We kind of follow what's going on in that world. We see where changes are happening. And then if things are going well, I try to get out in front of what I can expect those changes to be. So let me give you an example. When the shelter in place first hit almost two years ago now, there were a lot of voices in real estate that were saying you should sell now, get out of the market, the economy is going to crash. That was the popular thing to say. I actually took a different stance. If you go back and listen to some of those episodes, I'm recording in my living room because I couldn't leave the house. And my opinion was the government's going to print more money. They're going to create more stimulus. That's what they always do. The market's not going to go down as crazy as it sounds. Now is the time to buy. And I encouraged all of our clients that were in contract. Not only should you stay in contract, you should buy more. And looking back, I was dead on. Now, I'm not trying to shine my own wheels here. But what I'm trying to say is because I look at the whole picture, I see what's going on in at the Fed at a macroeconomic level, and I see what's going on in the mortgage industry at a smaller level, and I definitely see what's going on in the world of real estate sales. And I'm looking at what the consumers who want to rent out properties or book a place on Airbnb, I'm seeing what they're looking for. I sort of have a unique perspective when I'm giving advice. And I think that's why I see things that other people might miss. So I'd like to bring more of that to you. I would like to be going over the articles, describe what's going on with Zillow, what's going on with foreclosures, what we can expect from iBuyers, what laws are being changed that might get you in trouble calling the do not call list and bring that to all of you that are faithful Bigger Pockets listeners so you can stay a step of the curve just like me. Another thing that we're gonna be doing are going to be live coaching calls. So that's a session where we bring in two to three investors and they actually say, hey, here's my portfolio. Here's what I got going on. Here's what my goals are. How do I get there? And I'll be interviewing those people and giving my two cents on what they should do. We've done a couple of those episodes. They've gone over very well. Now, lastly, we're going to be looking for different show formats along that same spirit. So I don't know exactly what we're going to add, but the goal is we're going to be having more content for you to listen to. Now, if you just love the story episodes, we're not taking that away. You can still listen to that every single week, just like before. We're just adding more to the buffet to give you to compensate for Brandon being gone. Now that means I'm going to be in this studio a whole lot more, making a lot more content, but that's okay because I love doing this and I know that you love listening. And most importantly, I'm passionate about helping other people build wealth through real estate, just like I did. So I'm sorry that there's no drama. There's no David and Brandon beef. We still hang out all the time. I still love the guy like a brother. He's still one of the, one of, or maybe the most impactful person in my life up to this point. And I totally respect his decision to step away and do his own stuff, even though it sucks. Cause I love hanging out with that guy every single week. And so does everybody else that knows Brandon Turner. Now, as far as my YouTube channel versus the Bigger Pockets YouTube channel, here's what you should know about how they're going to be different. Bigger Pockets is a company that I don't own, but I love and I work for. So when we make content for Bigger Pockets, it's in the spirit and the mission of what Bigger Pockets is trying to accomplish. They are trying to help people find financial freedom through real estate, and they do it by creating a community of people. This is why they have forums. This is why they have podcasts. This is why they have all these personalities that are experts in the thing that they do that come forward and teach on that thing. It's really an educational platform mixed with a community. My channel is just a little bit more simple. It's what's going on inside of David's head. These are the moves I'm specifically making, the companies that I'm starting or running, the things that I'm learning from the endeavors that I'm taking on. I recently did a TED Talk that'll be released pretty soon 
that was titled how to be successful at anything. And it's really just some of the principles that I've learned that I've used to make myself successful when it comes to learning something new, whether it's jujitsu or real estate. So if you really vibe with sort of my perspective, the way that I approach things, if you like my style of teaching, those are the people that should be following my channel. Cause I'm gonna be sharing like what I see, what I'm looking at. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna be making stuff for bigger pockets. We just make a different type of content there. That's purely educational. This will of course be educational, just like there's some educational stuff in this video, but it also shows some perspective, a different way of looking at the lens of how to build wealth, how to make decisions, how to play good defense, how to play good offense that's unique to me. And one of the ways that I'm going to be providing more content to you is to share outside of the box ways that you can actually generate income through real estate or using principles that work in real estate investing applied into different spaces. So we're going to be talking about things like crypto, the stock market, different ways to make money with your house and you've maybe never thought about storage options that probably haven't been talked about in other places, creative stuff that people are doing to generate money through real estate. That's a little more nuanced than what a typical beginner might be told when they say, hey, go house hack or go put 20% down on a rental property. Those things are still great. I'm just going to be adding some different things that maybe people haven't thought about. So if that's something that you're into, make sure that you're following this channel and keeping an eye out for all the new cool stuff that I'll be releasing. Now, if you like what you see here, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe this channel. I'm gonna be putting out a lot more content here as well as in other places in the future, but I'd love to get you involved in my hub. A few things that I have going on going into 2022 that you should know about. First off, there will be more content on my YouTube channel that I would like to share. Second, I have a brand new website coming out. It looks like we're gonna call it dgtlive.com, DGT like the David Green team, where I'm gonna be sharing information about events that I'll be hosting, properties I'm buying, books that I'm reading, what you can expect from me in the future, webinars I'll be holding, all that stuff, as well as sort of sales stories from the David Green team, people that we helped get into contract and buy houses or sold houses, what we did to serve those people, and then what's going on in the world, the mortgage industry, in the crypto world, and in stocks. An insight into my mind and some of the people that I have access to that are making good decisions when it comes to building wealth that you can follow, as well as what I'm most excited about is my new upcoming text letter. It's going to be called Behind the Shine, like the shine of my head. Brandon's is called Behind the Beard, so I got to one-up him. We're going to be having something come out soon where you guys can sign up for that and get an idea of what's going on in the world of finance and wealth building, as well as behind the scenes of my own company. So please subscribe to this channel and keep an eye out for future opportunities like the ones I've just mentioned.